Some companies just don't seem to know the meaning of the word failure. Look at Red Hat, RHT, the world's leading provider of open source software for the enterprise. They do everything from Linux-based operating systems to storage, virtualization, and middleware. Lately, Red Hat's gone all in with cloud computing, and it's really been paying off, which is why the stock's been able to rally 58% year-to-date, including today's terrific more than $4 move. There's simply no slowing these guys down. The reason for the strength? Last night, Red Hat reported yet another phenomenal quarter. The company delivered a $0.10 cent earnings beat off a $0.67 cent basis, higher than expected revenues, up 20.6% year-over-year. Even better, management raised their full-year forecast for both the top and bottom line. The question is, have you already missed the boat here, or could there be more upside? Let's take a closer look with Eric Shander. He's the CFO of Red Hat. Find out more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Shander, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Great to be here. Right. Have a seat. First of all, your stock was up the most of any stock in the S&P 500 today. What does it take to have that kind of milestone? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, we've been delivering for our customers. The team did a phenomenal job this quarter. I mean, it was across the board. It wasn't any one particular segment of the company. It was our app dev emerging technologies did great. Our middleware did great. Our RHEL, the, the enterprise Linux, across the board, it was a great quarter, and the team did a phenomenal job. We're, we're really pleased with All that. Right, I'm glad you said that because I think that a lot of the decline in the highest growing companies, yep. and I'm speaking there of the Facebooks, the Amazons, Netflix, and the Alphas, is this subtle sense that somehow the data center is slowing. But Red Hat, I thought, on your conference call, explained what's really going on. I want you to tell people, because many people are panicked that that strongest engine of our economy is slowing. Jim, it, it, that's just not the case. I mean, we see it across the board in terms of the public cloud. When we're talking to customers, in fact, two weeks ago, we had our strategic advisory board with our customers. We had 16 of our customers there. Everybody's talking about it being a hybrid cloud world. I can tell you whether it's on-premise, off-premise. They're looking for optionality. They're looking for multiple cloud uh, providers. They're looking for flexibility. And as you know, as we, they get into the next set of development and you know, agile, they're really looking at containerization, and that's where our OpenShift product comes in. That's where the emerging technologies. I mean, this quarter alone, we had 44% growth in terms of our revenue year over year. And you know we're now with our app dev and emerging technologies. We're at 150 million dollars this quarter, 600 million dollar annual run rate business. And where was Phenomenal. it? Where was it three years ago? It was nothing, Jim. Was and this nothing. is where we've made the investments, strategic investments from a corporation standpoint. Those investments are paying off. We're seeing those in the results. Our customers are seeing that. I mean, we're just we're pleased with the progress overall. All right. Next step, I'm hearing one of the reasons why Amazon's down is because their data center is not that strong. Maybe Alphabet's is challenged. Microsoft, you are Switzerland. You're not seeing any slowing any of those, are you? We're not. We're not. I mean, we're see we are seeing strength across the board. But what I will tell you, Jim, th what's happened in Red Hat, if you go back a few years, the conversations were really around saving money. Now, right, right. now it's different, right? Now we're really talking to customers about what's happening in those in their respective industries. The whole discussions have changed. When I spend time with some of our CFOs or our customers, we spend time talking about what's happening in their respective industries. Right. And then that I can tell you, every single industry is transformed. And not only that, there is an IT implication related to that. They're looking for agile development, right. and that's where a lot of our technologies are helping enable that. At one time, your CEO, Jim Whitehurst, was on. I was very concerned about federal government and a federal government freeze. Federal government seemed to be among the strongest sectors this time. For it you. was. It was. We 14 out of our largest deals were in the federal business. Um, that business is very strong. And as we mentioned on our conference call last night, we, you know, we're very bullish in the Q3. It is obviously, you know, as you get near the end right. of the year, there's a lot of spending that happens. We're, we see a lot of prospects in the government. And uh, the government is a huge supporter of open source, Well, too, but I was going right? to say that it's not like the government is just sitting there with old IBM. It's not that IBM doesn't have a good cloud business, yep. but it's just, it's, it's very, the government's not that stupid. Right. All right, now, Europe, that had been another area I was worried about. We are very bullish in Europe here. Your Europe sales seem to be accelerating. They are. They are. As we look across at our bookings uh, across the board, we've seen strength across all of our regions. And in fact, our strategic advisory board two weeks ago that I mentioned, it was held in London. Half of those customers were European customers. And again, strength across the board there. And, you know, as, as we really kind of talk about where we're going from a strategic mm -hmm. standpoint and how, you know, to kind of test some of those right. ideas with them, you know, they're, they've resonated very well. And, and again, we're seeing a lot of strength across uh, Europe. Okay, so Eric, for the people who aren't 
exactly sure about uh, containerization, not necessarily sure about, about the cloud and adoption. We have had Beth Mooney from KeyBank on after every yeah. quarter. Key seems like a key client for you. So maybe yeah. you can walk people who don't know Red Hat sure. through what Red Hat has done for Key. Yeah, so KeyBank actually, they, they, we, they, we premiered them at our last summit that we held earlier this year. Um, when they started looking at containers, one, one of the things that they were looking at is they were looking for a company that was investing in Docker, investing in Kubernetes, and our OpenShift platform actually brings all of the, the, the whole platform together from a containerization standpoint. Okay. including the OS. And again, one of the things that operating we system. really okay. say, the operating system, one of the things we really say um, as we talk to our customers is, you know, containers are Linux. And as, as you, you know, uh, there's a huge footprint of Linux around, right. you know, the world. And as they start to move to containers, one of the things that KeyBank was looking for is their whole DevOps. They were looking for continuous right. delivery and, you know, containerization of the applications actually allows for quick, you know, releases of their, their of their applications. In fact, they've really moved their whole mobile mobile applications onto uh, OpenShift, and they've been a it's been a huge success. Allowed them to really make changes along the way, and it's you know we're we're really pleased, and, and I believe you know a lot of feedback has been real positive from them too. Well, I think the key's an early adopter of a lot of things, and they've also been involved with a major acquisition. So if they use you, they haven't been a lot of financials been involved with that. Then I know that they are doing the right thing, and that shareholders should hold on to the stock and maybe. New shareholders should do some new sh new people should consider buying the stock. That's Eric Sanders, CFO of Red Hat, the strongest stock in the market today. May have money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from May have Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.